Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Greetings, guys. Welcome to a special video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Dimensional Shell Shock DLC for Shredder's Revenge. Uh, this DLC just came out, and I've been playing it quite a bit. Um, having some fun with it, and I've got some tips for those of you who might be trying to beat it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and hop in here, and, you know, I'm by no means the best guy out there, but... Um, you know, if you're looking to try and beat this, uh, I'll, I'll share with you my tips, and also it's just an excuse to play it, honestly. Um, in terms of characters, you can really be whoever you want. I'm going to advocate Casey Jones, which, surprise, surprise, a lot of people consider him OP, but uh, I really do think, for a couple of reasons, he's one of the best characters you can pick for this. His super is not only, uh, not only does it, like, clear the screen, it, like, sucks enemies in, um, but it is... Uh, it has a very long animation time, and we're going to be using this for invulnerability. So it's useful. It's a very useful super. He also has like a, an uppercut and like an elbow move that you can use in sync to sort of zigzag your way, jumping across the screen, which is trick. It is good for trickier bad guys. So Let's anyway, go. we'll go with Casey Jones, but you can really go with whoever you want, whoever you're comfortable with. You're going to be doing a lot of dodging. The name of the game in this mode is take as little damage as possible and kill guys as quickly as you can. That's basically the secret to how to do this. You know, it's, it, there's no secret. It's just a simple secret. Um, your characters all do begin at level zero. So Casey here is leveled up to level 10 because I've been playing this. When you're at level zero, you will have only one ninja power bar. Uh, you will have less health and you'll have only one life. So... Uh, it'll probably take you a few rounds of playing around and slowly leveling your characters before they get powerful enough. Eventually you get two lives, and that's a real game changer, I find. But on the flip side, you probably can do this without dying. Um, fun fact, I just recorded, in quotations, uh, this whole episode and then realized I never hit record. Um, but don't worry, because I got all the way to the final boss, and then I screwed it up because I was too nervous because I thought I was recording. Uh, so we're going to forget that that ever happened, and we're just going to pretend that I'm going in and I'm going to rock it. Um, and if I fail again, it's going to be really, really sad. Um, so this dimensional skip you unlock after your character becomes a high enough level. Um, what I would say is if you're just trying to beat it, keep it at level 1. If you put it up to level six, you don't start closer to the end boss. You just start with harder bad guys from the get-go. So this is just the difficulty, actually. It, it's not super obvious, but dimensional skip, this is difficulty. So leave it at one if you just want to beat it. If you want more of a challenge, pump it up and go nuts. Um, the opening worlds, the, so the dimensions all seem to be randomized. Edo here is one of the two dimensions that I typically see as starting dimensions. You can also see the Mirage uh, dimension, which is the um, the comics, the original Ninja Turtles comics, black and white uh, dimension. Um, but okay, so these are the basic purple guys. There's not really much to them other than just make sure to dodge their attacks. Make it Start making use of that dodge button, uh, even if you don't use it you haven't used it too much, like you haven't needed it in the actual game, you really do want to learn how to take as little damage as possible. That's the key here. Um, for most bad guys in this, Casey Jones, so he has like an uppercut, and then you can do uppercut and attack, and you'll do like a, an elbow, and you can just spam this all day long, and you can zip across the screen this quickly, like it's really handy. Most bad guys can't even hit you when you're doing this, so it's a very good combo. But what I will say is the basic purple foot soldiers can uppercut you. So they're the one kind of foot soldier to be careful of. When they're on the screen, just dodge and attack. Um, now, after you beat a level, you'll be given two portals of where to go. This one will give us 20 crystals. This one will give us uh, power. I'm going to go for the crystals. If you notice in the bottom right here, we have three of 50 crystals. Getting 50 crystals will pass this dimension and move us on. So you do want to kind of collect crystals. The other thing you're trying to do is keep your health as topped off as possible. So there will be things like pizzas and there's other power-ups and stuff that can give you health. So, um, you know, if there's a choice between crystals and going full health, then unless you are, uh, you know, already close to full health, you know, unless you have full health or are close to it, I would recommend the health. Um, so here, I'm just trying to do some dodging here. I got hit a little from these motorcycles, but... Um, motorcycles are being annoying. All right. 
So I'm gonna pop a super. So supers in this, you know, use them to maintain your health. There's two ways to use them. One is the screen has too many hard bad guys. Just use a super, pull the old Indiana Jones, pull your gun out and shoot a guy in a sword fight because it saves you the trouble. Um, it saves you the health. The other thing, the, the other time you want to use supers is as a panic move. If you're about to get swarmed, a bad guy is about to punch you, hit that super as fast as you can because it will turn you invincible and you won't get hit. So those are the two times to use a super to maximize your health. Um, here's a case where we could grab pizza or the power. If there was something better over here, I'd grab it. But I'm just going to grab the pizza. But typically, when I'm this high in health, I wouldn't bother with the pizza because there's other things to grab. Um, side note, have you guys noticed that Casey Jones has three fingers and a thumb? Like, look when he walks around. Like, that's... Might be hard to see because he's throwing so many punches, but he's definitely got three fingers and a thumb. Um, and I'll try and walk. See? Do you see it? Okay, I'm just gonna super these guys to get them out of the way. Um, careful on these levels that you can fall off the bridge, but you can also knock enemies off the bridge, so it's easy to kill guys. Um, okay, this power-up for six rounds, I think, will give you plus three health at the start of every round, but you can't get pizzas for six rounds. I tend not to like this one, but depending on your playstyle, maybe it'll be good for you. This one will give you 30 crystals. We'll pass the first level, so I'm just going to hop in and do that. What I would say is do not rush through the levels. There's no need to necessarily go through the levels quickly. If you are low on health, go for the health, always. Um... But if, you know, like in my position right there, I could easily grab the, uh, the crystals. Didn't need anything else. Um, all right, here's the Mirage level. You're in a comic book. Uh, we're getting lots of rock soldiers here. These guys I find actually aren't too common. If the, if the motorcycles spawn, uh, near you, so if they spawn over here, you can just keep punching and you'll sort of punch the guy off of them. But if they spawn across the map, oh, then you'll have to dodge. Um... Oh, dodge that, dodge that. All right, we're going to super these guys again. Get over here. Casey Jones, handy super. This guy is like just lobbing grenades. Hit this guy down. There you go. Um, notice how there's loose crystals on the ground there. You don't have to grab those. Once you go into a portal, they'll automatically get picked up. So grab them if you like, but it's not necessary. Um, I'm gonna grab the 10 crystals again, uh, just because, again, that power thing. If it made you super powerful the whole round, it'd be cool, but it's only like the first five seconds, and you just kill a couple of guys, and then that's it, so I'm usually not too wowed by the power. Um, oops. Make use of that dodge. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is where the uh, jump move is handy. When you got too many guys in the ground. Okay, these pole guys are way deadlier than they seem. Do not try to engage them when they're just trying to fight you. Wait until they run and bonk themselves like that. Or drop kick them when they're running like that. But do not just try to fight them. The black ninjas also will wreck you. Especially if there's a couple of them on the screen. I can't believe that guy grabbed me. Um, so don't be afraid to use a super if you see a black ninja. Or Casey Jones is you just spam this move up and down, up and down, and you can like hit them and juggle them. Okay, this power up will give you double damage for three rounds, but you take double damage. So I'm not a huge fan of it, but it can be useful on boss fights and stuff. So uh, depending on your comfort with dodging and stuff, it may be very handy. This will turn you into Rocksteady. So you can become bad guys in this. Um, you can become Rocksteady, Bebop, and Shredder. I happen to think Bebop and Shredder are the best. Rocksteady, I am not super impressed by but just to show you guys i'll become rock steady where being a bad guy even rock steady can be handy is they have their own unique health bar so it kind of counts as a temporary health buff um so if you're low on health you could become a bad guy purely for the health um so yeah his gun sucks <laughs> if you do a charge shot with uh, bebop or rock steady they will shoot their gun um, also, the bad guys have unlimited supers, so their supers regenerate. Rocksteady throws grenades all over the map. Uh, Bebop, his gun goes crazy and he shoots in all directions, and Shredder, um, he's supposed to summon electricity down that shocks everyone around him, but truthfully, uh, I don't know how to actually get that to activate. 
Um, it doesn't seem to activate most of the time. So, yeah, the supers, you know, use them because they just regenerate. Like, it's regenerating right now, and he's going to have it again. So you might as well just be spamming supers. Um, but their health bars are pretty limited, so they may die. Um, okay, I could take crystals, and that actually would be a good choice, but I'm going to take this. This is a super cool power-up. What this does is whenever you taunt, you turn invincible, then you teleport somewhere on the map, and because you've taunted, you now have a supercharge. So with this, this lasts for three rounds. You can taunt super, taunt super, taunt super, taunt super until you've cleared the round, and then go on for two more rounds, basically being invincible. It doesn't work if you're a villain, so until Rocksteady's dead, we're not going to see it, but I don't anticipate Rocksteady living past another round or so. In fact, he'll probably die at this guy. So we'll see how this goes. Oh man, Rocksteady's wrecking this guy. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, never mind. I took one hit. Okay, so this guy, a little tip for him if you're fighting him and you're not a boss. What I would do, punch him a little, use a super when it looks like he's about to attack you because you'll super through his attack and not get hit. And then when he goes underground, just avoid his attacks. And then when he comes out, just wait for him to adjust his little uh, miner's cap and try and zap you with the flashlight. Like, just avoid him. And once he does that, it's such a long animation. You can just walk up behind him and attack him, super him, do whatever you want. Um, his buddy, Ground Chuck, is another bad guy you'll see quite a bit. For him, just avoid him while he's running around. Do a taunt in the corner to get a super. Uh, and then walk over to him when he's not running and just super him, attack him, you'll be fine. Um, and then we'll hopefully see a few other bad guys. There's like Metalhead, Slash, and so on. Um, I don't even know what to do. I am I feel like uh, I'm, I'm rich at this point. In terms of like what abilities to take. I, I have a bad guy, I have unlimited supers. I took a power, so I'll do this at the beginning. Um, yeah, and you can't jump while this is active, so that's that's very useful, eh? Anyway. Um, yeah, Black Ninjas, not my fan. Not a fan of them. Oh, God. Ha-ha! So even the bad guys like Bebop and Rocksteady can go invincible during their supers. Um, they can't dodge, so that's the closest thing to a dodge, so use it like a dodge. I would say, um, for Bebop and Rocksteady, but I mean, you can also do it for your normal character. You can go invincible with a uh, super, but you can also just dodge. Jeez. I almost want to die so we can use the teleport unlimited supers thing, but keep doing too well. Um, okay, so I think the portals, by the way, the portal colors dictate difficulty, so I think blue is easy fights, purple is medium, and red is harder slash boss fights. I don't think it's 100%, but I think that's how it works. Uh, but anyway, we're going to take some crystals here to actually try and pass this world. But what I have been on the lookout is for is pizza. Or there is there are a few other power-ups that give you health, but... Um, I mean, basically, Rocksteady's been taking the hits. Casey Jones is just sort of sitting in the background. But... Uh, Still, I want to I wanna get uh, Casey Jones nice and healthy. Okay, thank God. Okay. So I can do my super, and then I can teleport. And then I can super again. And then I can teleport, and they can't hurt me. And then I super again. And I teleport. So yeah, this is this power-up that I've got here. I mean, two of the rounds it was active, we didn't even use it. But it truly does make you... Really powerful. It is possible to um, teleport and land somewhere where you accidentally take a hit, but it is usually pretty rare. Um, so if you're spamming the uh, taunt and then super, taunt, super, taunt, super, you can like clear really hard levels without doing anything. Anyway, we went to a red portal. We get 30 crystals, but and we cleared this crystal. I think that's our second crystal that we've unlocked. I think there's six total. Uh, but the red portal should take us to a boss or hard fight. So let's see if this this theory holds. Omni Channel Six. Um, so it's not a boss fight. Who are we gonna fight? Literally no one. <laughs> this is like. Oh hello. 
That, that was kind of weird. I've never seen it take that long to spawn bad guys. So I was kind of wondering if the game had was glitching. If I'm being honest with you. So notice I'm using his uppercut and dive continually. This is one of Casey Jones' benefits, is he can do that, so he, he's almost never on the ground, so he can avoid hits. So here we go, I could take 10 crystals, but like, here's my advice to you guys, don't rush it. It's better to comfortably exist in a dimension, um, maintaining high health and your ninja bars and stuff, than it is to rush out of it just cause. You know, we got two more dimensions we got to complete after this. There's absolutely no rush to finishing this one in the next fight, you know? Ooh, gonna super there. So that was a panic super. Those guys probably didn't warrant a super, but it's always better to super and not take a hit than it is to take that hit. Um, and now I'm back to three supers, right? So keep a little reserve of supers because when you face really tough guys, you want to use them. So we haven't seen there are guys with electrical batons that are real a pain in the butt. Those uh, uh, pike guys, the green guys, there's a variant of them that have flame on the, the end of them and they're really dangerous. So yeah, hold on to your supers for when you need them. If your guy isn't leveled up very much, you might only have the option of one super, but um, one trick is you can always taunt at the end of a level to gain a super um, for your next level. So you can, you should always be entering every level with at least one super, no matter what level your guy is. And here I'm making frequent use of dodging. Okay, black ninjas, I'm not gonna mess with them. I'm just gonna use the super there. You can see I didn't kill one, I'm gonna juggle this guy with Casey Jones' move, and we got him. The sword guys also are a little tricky. I would probably do the uh, the dropkick move I was just doing there on them. I'm gonna keep skipping Rocksteady because I'd really love to show off Bebop or Shredder um, if we could, but we'll just sort of see what happens. Okay, so you're noticing probably like low gravity and stuff. Like some of these levels start to have modifiers. I think the most annoying one is uh, enemies explode, or explosive enemies. Because that one, when you kill an enemy, they literally explode like a barrel. Um, I don't think it's as powerful as a barrel, but it can... Um, okay, so that was another panic move that I did there to not take a hit. Um, but they can literally explode and damage you. So yeah, you can always taunt here and get one ninja power. I have two already, so it's not going to give me anything. So here's an interesting ability. For three rounds, your health slowly drains, but as you damage guys, you heal. If I was damaged, I probably would take this, but considering I'm not, I think I don't need it. Um, so I'm just gonna go for this. The only time that ability isn't great is on boss fights. Um, so you have to kill the bosses quickly, because if you're standing around waiting for them, then um, you, your health can, can drain away. Uh, we have unlimited ninja, so that's my last one. Oh, should have dodged that. Oh, I should have dodged that. Get out of here. Oh, all right. Maybe I should have taken that drain thing. I guess I would. I guess I would be at full health right now. My own fault for being cowardly. This one, I think I already explained, it makes you do double damage, but take double damage. So I'm just going to take the crystals instead. Pass this level. Now notice if you go over the amount, that will carry over. So I have 87 of 70. On the next crystal, I'll start off with 17 out of 80. Um, and so this is another reason why taking your time in an earlier level never hurts you because it's not like you waste crystals if you go way over you actually can skip through harder levels faster because you come in with a reserve um oh shouldn't have done that okay i'm just gonna end that guy so the nes level i love is pretty awesome it's obviously like an homage to all sorts of games like uh ducktales i get a vibe for with the animals in the background but also like the nes uh, Ninja Turtles, and then you get, like, uh, obviously some uh, Double Dragon because of the conveyor belts. Um, guys, by the way, can fall down the conveyor belts, so fighting tougher bad guys on the belts, you know, having them fall down is a good way to end them. Like, those two mousers just fell right down, so that was nice. Uh, one of those giant mousers, by the way, was... Um, 
wonder if this guy will fall down. Oh god. I should be dodging this. There you go, that guy just fell right down. Um, one of the, the mousers, by the way, there was yellow, the big one. Uh, you can even see a, a small one that's yellow there. Um... Hello, sir. You know, I'm just gonna super him to get him out of here. <laughs> uh, but the yellow robots are more powerful than the blue ones, so just keep an eye out. Um, okay, I'm gonna take- I'm gonna take the drain, the health drain. I think I can make it work. If this kills me, it's gonna be so embarrassing, but... Considering I just, again, in air quotes, recorded an episode... Um, that I failed at, you know. I guess nothing could be more embarrassing than that. Oh my god. So there, here's the electrical guy. Oh my god. So you can see how much damage they do. Okay, here is a, there's some foot soldiers here that have robot heads. These are like the Cylon foot soldiers. They are more powerful, more aggressive, they do more damage, and they have more health. Um, so watch out for those guys. Oh my god. I'm gonna super these guys here. Um, also keep an eye out for the darker rock soldier guys. They're like the bosses. They're the commanders or whatever. Oof. About to dodge that. Okay. Oh, there's Bebop. Uh, I'm gonna take the, the crystals though. Just because I've got this health drain thing going on. I don't quite know how it interacts with Bebop. But anyway, here's- oh yeah, Toka and Razor. They're common bosses that you'll see in this. Oof. Oh, I should have dodged that. I don't know why I didn't. Oop. Dodge. And... I'm not doing great here. Okay, he's dead. He's down for the count. And we got him. Alright. So I gotta do some more damage in the next level to get my health back up. Um, I'll take the crystals. I think you can't get a pizza. This guy up in the back looks like Wario, by the way. It's like a weird chef. Um, some levels have that crate that you saw just drop. In fact, I think this might be the only level that has such a crate. Um, I kind of hope the devs actually add some more uh, levels to this, because it does kind of feel like there aren't as many levels as you would imagine in this. Um, oh, cool. So, here's a case we can be Shredder. We could take pizza for one hit point, but might as well have some fun and be Shredder. Be the big bad guy himself. Um, but yeah, it just kind of feels like, um, as many levels as there are in this game, they could have made, like, a thousand more, because you could just vary the enemies and stuff, and the spawn order, and I don't know. Anyway, Shredder is really good at diving around the screen, as you can see. It's one of the ways you can be Shredder and really... Avoid taking damage. But yeah, notice there are more and more foot soldiers that have robot heads. Again, these are the tougher foot soldiers. Shredder can also do... Oh! oh didn't even take a single hit there. Shredder can also do this. This is sort of his dash attack. So he doesn't have a dodge, but this is his dash. Um... I kind of wish that was a dodge button move, because uh, it's so much easier, but no, you have to dash to do it. Anyway, uh, we're on the last level now, so I think we're gonna have to get up to 90 crystals. Dark Tomorrow. This is, I think, always the last level. Dark Tomorrow is always the last level. The other ones are all in a random order. To some degree. Um, this one's always the end. Oh. And yeah, this le these levels have spikes. So if you see that there are spikes, just kind of avoid that area of the map. The enemies will not avoid that area of the map, and they will try and come to you, let them. Um, they will get hurt, just like that. <laughs> so these electrical guys you do not want to tango with, if you're not a, a boss guy. Um, they are- I, I would use a super if I could on them, frankly. Oh, there's the fire guys. 
These guys have a fire stick. So the fire can hurt you even if um, you're hurting the guy. I'm just gonna super this to like end this fight. Oh God. I don't want these guys to come over here. Oh, all right, super. Just get this over with. So there's a perfect case to use a super. Things were a little too chaotic. It was a little too hard to fight there. I just wanted that level to end as quickly as possible, so I kind of supered my way out of it. So reserve your supers for those kinds of scenarios. Dodge. Attack. Dodge. Attack. I'm gonna super these guys just to make sure that they die. Because they, they looked a little darker to me. I, I think they were like more of the boss guys. Well, I'm gonna super again. Because I just don't wanna tango. There we go. So yeah, I, I would consider that a success. We used our super instead of losing health. This is an interesting power up. You get three health at the beginning of each turn and it lasts for six rounds, but uh, you do not get pizzas anymore. Frankly, I, in fact, did we see this earlier? I forget what I've told you guys already, but uh, I'm not a huge fan of that one, but it's a thing, you know, it, it might work for you guys. And if it does, go nuts. Ooh, this looks good. Oh my God, I, I'm powered up. And when the power is done, I have five seconds of unlimited super. <laughs> Three seconds, two seconds. Oh my god, wow, that was a cool round. I've never seen that. Back-to-back -back power and then unlimited supers. Oh, cool. All right, well, we haven't seen Bebop yet, so... Or did we? No, I don't, I don't think we have. Hopefully he lives so we can show off some of his abilities. Um, so here's his super. Pretty cool, actually, right? I'm going to try and keep these guys on one side so that... Oh, God. I'm gonna die, man. Poor Bebop. Oh, yeah. I mean, I probably could play the bosses a little better, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm playing as Casey Jones so that I don't have to play as the bosses. Wait for that guy to attack, then come in. Job well done. All right, so Bebop served his purpose. I didn't get hit. Um, this one gives you unlimited, like, ninja mode power until you actually get hit once. I honestly am not even quite sure what ninja mode power does, because, I mean, I know it makes you a little more powerful and stuff, but, like, every time I've ever used it in the game, I don't notice a huge difference. So for me, I usually don't bother with that power-up. Um, dodge those guys. Whoop. Nice try. Nice try, Ninja Joe. You got it beat up by a hockey man. Oh. Okay, super. So there's there's a case where I kind of messed up the timing, and I was about to take a lot of damage, and you panic super your way out of that. This one makes you move faster, depending on how high your combo is. But again, I haven't noticed much for that one, so I'm just gonna collect crystals. Um, also, like, we're very close. If, if the next level gives us a 30, we can get on to the final boss. Oh, oh, black ninjas, I don't like to tango with, because they just have a history of hurting me. Not usually killing me, but causing enough damage that it's like... I wish I didn't try to fight them, you know? Alley -oop. More black ninjas. That means another super. <laughs> Alright, come on, 30! No. Oh, we can be Shredder again. Let's do it. Shredder has a super that I think I've told you I don't know how to activate it. Every time I try, I just get hurt, so I don't even bother anymore, but... When you can't activate it, he summons down an electrical storm around him. So it's kind of interesting. If you could activate it when you press the button, it'd be great. <laughs> but you cannot. 
Oh, jeez. I was trying to get behind that guy. Oh, jeez. All right, well, Shredder, you're about to die, sir. Oh, but he survived. You know what would be interesting? Shredder versus Shredder. I guess we'll take the pizza. Um, like, if we got to be Shredder at the very end, the last boss, if you haven't guessed yet, I mean, your choices are Krang or Shredder, but it's Shredder. It's always Shredder, you know? Um, that would be kind of interesting if you did Shredder versus Shredder. I wonder if anyone's got a video of Shredder beating Shredder. Somebody must have done it. Should look that up later. Maybe I could be the first. I mean, I almost certainly am not going to survive a Shredder to the to the final boss, and I certainly wouldn't be able to beat Shredder with Shredder. The final boss is tricky. He already killed me in one <laughs> unrecorded Let's Play. Oh, I can't believe that, guys. I could, you know, when you're fighting a boss and you feel it slipping away from you gradually, you keep making stupid mistakes. That was it. Oh, okay. It's just super you guys. Faster foes. That's actually a pretty offensive ability for the bad guys there. Not offensive, but it's like, that's actually pretty deadly. I don't know if I've seen that one before. I must have, I'm just not noticed or something. Okay, so if you get to the end of a level and you don't have a super, do a taunt. There we go. All right, next level. Let's try this superpower thingy. I don't know, maybe, maybe this is the key to everything. Activates radical mode and keeps it until you are hit. So if we can not get hit, we could go into the final boss being radical. There you go. I'm gonna try and kill these electrical guys. Oh, I can't do a super in this mode. I'm just gonna take a hit. <laughs> like, I mean, it's just gonna cause me to take- I'm not going to intentionally take a hit. But this- being in this mode is gonna cause me to take a hit. Oh, get out of there. I don't know if I'm- am I doing more damage or something? I think I might have taken a hit there, because I think the radical mode just ended. Um, alright, this should get us to the boss? Yeah, just barely. Squeaked on by, but we have close to full health. This is a bit better than the last time I got here on the other video that... <laughs> it didn't even fail recording, I just didn't hit record. Like, such an amateur mistake. Anyway, the final boss, of course. Shredder. It's always Shredder. Look at him. Man, he's jacked. That guy hits the gym, man. Alright, so he's not too hard. Let's see if I can not fuck it up. Um, but basically, he sort of moves around. As you can see. Kind of waiting for him to start to do that. But you want him to do it for longer. He'll sort of dash at you. Just avoid him. Dodge when he spawns. Oh. I was in radical mode. <laughs> okay, that's what you want to do. You kind of want to do that super. And, uh... I just avoid these. There we go. And we'll do this. So you want to do that super. And when you have a moment, like I did just there, you want to, um... You want to do a taunt, and that's how you get more supers. That's pretty much all there is to it. Wait for him to do his thing. Do a super attack at him. And recharge. I'm doing way better than the last time I did this. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. I kind of broke my own thing. Oof. That was tight. Oof. I don't think he's hit me yet. Just be very careful. You want to wait till he does his, like, red crystal thing. And that's when you want to, like, do your super move at him. When he, when he gets electrocuted like that, you usually have enough time to do a taunt. There we go. Oh, I should have done that. Well, I got lucky. 
Oof. Okay. Don't be tempted to attack him there after the electrocution. He will always miss. And he's done. Wow. I'm happy that my previous attempt on this guy has lost to the ages. You guys didn't see it was embarrassingly bad. Anyway, that's that's uh that's the dimensional whatchamacallit mode. Now you can return home. Or you can go a little deeper. I say just for funsies, let's just go a little deeper. Basically what happens from here is you just start replaying dimensions and they're just harder and harder. Um you know, but if you were looking for some tips on how to play, or you just got this, or you just you maybe don't even have this, you're just curious what it is, hopefully today's video has given you some insight. Um, if you have any of tips of your own for people who might be struggling with this mode, feel free to chime in down below. I'm sure other people have other tips. And, you know, Casey Jones, I like him. I, he works for me, getting through this mode. Maybe he, he doesn't work for you, and maybe there's another character that does. Um, feel free to share tips on other characters down below, too. Um, now, I will say in this, in this mode that we're playing now, you'll notice that the bad guys, the foot soldiers, all are basically robot head guys. Um, yeah, they're... They're actually... So all the bad guys become more difficult in this mode. This is like the new game plus mode, right? Like... Um, I'm gonna pull in the black ninjas. I think I'm actually gonna have to start juggling these guys because... Oof. My super isn't enough to kill them anymore. It'll be an interesting challenge to see if I how far I can get in this. But uh, I'm gonna cut it off here and jump to the end of the game so you guys can see that. Um, but if you are curious about how far I get, uh, I can stick around to the end of the video. I'll leave you a little, little something. But anyway, on to the final cutscene. All right, and there you have it. Whoa, dudes, you got quite a tumbling. But we've got the tastiest reward for you. Dimensional za Looks hideous and disgusting. <laughs> I like how Casey Jones has the 8-bit piece of pizza in the background there. Enjoy, don't they look delicious? And there you go. Um, so I went, I beat two more levels. You can see the gems there. So you get all six, I think, if you go through a solid run. I went two more further, but it's actually, it's very hard um, beyond that. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. I can also show you the crystal collection because this shows you what you can actually unlock. So for Casey Jones, you know, level one, gets you an extra hit point then an extra power ninja power bar then the extra life i think that's the tipping point where you can start to probably make it through if you've been having difficulty but a bit more hit points is always good then a dimensional skip more hit points then the extra ninja bar that's the other tipping point where it makes a big difference but uh, having more health along the way and again more lives makes a big difference but uh yeah anyway as i say guys hopefully this video helps you and uh good luck <laughs> Close. 